Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Globku and Bandai Namco has released a survey for the open beta of Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. I've looked at the survey and now I'm gonna answer it live because it has some very interesting questions. First of all, I thought it was super weird for them to release a survey on a beta that most people couldn't play. So I'm just curious to see what types of questions they have in there. But also I've heard there there's some pretty weird stuff in here as well. Now I'm not trying to influence anyone. Please do not copy my answers please answer honestly if you're gonna take up this survey which is also the reason why I'm releasing this on a Saturday it's because I hope the survey has closed at this point and I don't influence the results all right here's the tweet and uh, let's get started how did you hear about this beta test good question uh, it was either weekly jump or v jump but it was actually a website that reported on those magazines so not a game review website it was shown on games.com I guess they are kind of a game review website this is not important which of the following motivated you the most to participate in the beta test I'm a youtuber making videos about your game also I'm excited about your game I like Naruto uh, because I like Boruto sure because I like multiplayer games in general not in particular they're okay I guess the ninja like moves looked interesting yeah you know what I do like the movement in Shinobi Striker avatar ninja creation looked interesting I mean yeah it looks interesting but that's not the reason why I come to the beta I know the options are gonna be super limited I look forward to doing that stuff for real in the final game that's not why I wanted the beta so not much the battle system with various jutsu look interesting yes I keep wanting to try out different combinations of jutsu keep wanting to try out different loadouts that's definitely one of the reasons why I went to the beta and one of the reasons I'm excited for the final game the battle system that uses different classes looked interesting not really I mean that's part of the thing I, th I guess that's connected to the previous question but it's not the fact that they're separated by classes this is a weird question I was interested in 4v4 team battles that's kind of like the multiplayer thing not in particular that's not what brings me to this game flag battle looked interesting not at all it's seriously one of the worst game modes you can have as a showpiece for for this game so many ideas have come out already that fit within a 4v4 format so many ideas for different game modes that flag battle is the most boring of them all sure the game's okay playing in flag battle but it's not the game mode that draws me to this game not at all because it was free no it's not because it was free that i went to the beta okay next what did you play in the open beta test i cleared the tutorial yeah played the battle one three no play the battle more than four times no made a ninja avatar <laughs> no i clear i made a ninja avatar and clear the tutorial so yeah what was your overall impression of the game graphics they're okay some people bash the graphics a lot i guess good is maybe too much i'll, I'll say normal people are like oh playstation 2 graphics no that's that's not really the case just because it doesn't look as good as storm 4 doesn't mean the graphics are that bad they're fine action <laughs> what, what do you mean was the action good? The action of the tutorial? I guess that was good. I had some fun. The sound, the sounds okay. Originality. So in a way, you're doing like capture the flag, which is the most unoriginal thing you could do. You're doing a multiplayer game. You're doing a character creation thing, which I mean, you've said it yourself. So you're taking that directly from Xenoverse. So there's not a lot of originality there, but at the same time, I struggle to think of other games with character creation. There are multiplayer focus like this outside of Xenoverse, maybe. Uh normal overall interest i'm still interested so i'm gonna check a good on that i remain optimistic about this game okay what are your impressions for the following avatar ninja creation yeah i don't think we've seen the full extent of the avatar ninja creation so i'm gonna say normal graphics for the online lobby i don't like them i really don't facilities in the online lobby i mean they were all offline you had quick match and you could cu like customize your loadout on sakura but like the weapons thing from 1010 the ninja 2 thing from sasuke that's all still offline that's still not available what do you want me to answer like i know the game is not complete but what you had like if i'm judging based on that it's bad communication in the lobby that's very bad the menu descriptions and ease of use yeah i mean it wasn't hard to use the effects of ninjutsu yeah i like that it's flashy and cool you know it's not very good because I, I do think sometimes that gets in the way of gameplay when it's too flashy and it's not a case where ah it's way too flashy i can't understand what's going on but when there's a lot going on it's hard to tell that might be a problem when you get to higher level gameplay but uh yeah i'd say good enough for now role difference in each class sure 
are normal. And the reason for that is, I don't think they meant defense types to be so powerful, like they're able to capture a flag and take it on, on their own back to base. I think defense types were meant to, you know, tank on team battles, they were meant to protect your own flag, protect the flag carrier, not do everything on their own. So role difference in each class, I don't think that's something they nailed down just yet, but that's something that could be fixed by the final, final game simply by having more jutsu available. Flag battle mechanics, I mean, for a capture the flag game mode, they're okay. Controls during battle. Did they hear the previous question where I said that I didn't play any battles? What am I supposed to answer here? I get, I'm gonna say good because they fixed some stuff over the closed beta. Difficulty in battle. That really just depends on your opponents, doesn't it? It's gonna say normal. Communication during battle. Very bad. That communication wheel is the absolute worst. Length of the beta test. I mean, the length was normal, right? Like, these these beta tests are usually, like, a weekend long. It wasn't too short, it wasn't too long, it was just nothing was working. So the length was not a problem, I'm gonna say normal. Next, which character is your favorite? Hmm, I'm gonna say Kakashi. What character did you think was the strongest in this beta? I didn't play any matches! Please listen, Bandai Namco, I cannot give you an answer. Based on the close beta, I'm gonna say Kakashi. Which character class did you prefer the most? Again, based on the close beta, defense type. Which character class did you think was the best? This ain't even a question. Are there any other characters and ninjutsu you'd like to use in this game? Yeah, okay, here we go. Alright, so what is this? Are they making a poll for characters that people want to see in the game and ninjutsu that people want to see in the game? What is this? Are we gonna have characters in the game based on a popularity contest? Is, is that what this is all about? This just tells me that they have no idea what their final roster is. The Naruto fanbase can be so loud and so wrong most of the time that if you're gonna start listening to feedback and not like have a clear vision of what your game is, it's gonna be rough for you. Like this is a multiplayer based game game and balance is super important. If at this point you don't know what your full roster is and you don't know what abilities you are putting in each class and having already like thought out how you can balance them in the long run, then you already screwed up. Like let's say you weren't planning to have the fourth Hokage. Let's say you did not plan to have Minato in the game. Minato is going to be one of the most requested characters. I know that because every time I live stream this, someone asks me, hey, do you think Minato will be in the game? He's obviously going to win this popularity contest, so what are they going to do? Are they going to put Minato in the game just because people requested him a lot and throw out another potential character that they had already thought of and balanced and fit into this whole game and like start from scratch with another one? This doesn't make a lot of sense. Or maybe they are thinking about DLC at this point? I don't like this at all. I would love to trust their vision, but you know, I, I answered many surveys for many games in the past, including like recently Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> they never asked which characters you wanted to see. Oh well, uh, Gara because I think he's gonna be in the game, Zabuza because I want him to be in the game, and let's say Jira. Ooh, how do you write Jira? Jira, yeah. Ninja 2, I don't know. Uh, phew, uh, we already have the Sand Shield. What else do I want for Gara? What else do I want for Gara? Sand Coffin? Is that how you write Coffin? Hidden Mist Jutsu, is that what it's called? I never know the official name. Hiding in the Mist Technique, is that the translation? Okay. Hiding in the Mist Technique. Good luck figuring that one out for your game. Spiky hair for Jiraiya. I don't know. How much did you enjoy the open beta test? I... I... Didn't enjoy much. I'll say that I enjoyed discovering some stuff in the tutorial, discovering like you can air dash to cancel a combo and like sort of reset your air combo. I liked messing around with the abilities and figuring out like unique properties that I hadn't before. But given that I couldn't play a single match, I didn't enjoy much. Please tell us your thoughts on what was good and bad about the open beta test. How many characters can I write? <coughs> Good. Improvements were made over the closed beta. The jutsu don't track the opponents as aggressively. Wait a second. YouTube.com slash TGN anime. Hang on. <laughs> let's see if let's see if I can get away with this. Um videos. And <laughs> there we go. Hey! That's my face. <laughs> Share, copy, and uh paste. Paste. Good. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that takes care of that. How did you feel about the difficulty of the beta test gameplay? What does this mean? I want the beta to be more, a lot more difficult. W what does that mean? That I want them to have better players in the future? Difficulty comes from 
the players, like, how would they change that? I'm gonna say, I, I don't need you to change the difficulty because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Do you want to purchase this game? I'm in kind of a unique position where I won't have to purchase it. Ben Namco will probably send it over. But if I was a consumer, I would probably buy it. What is the main reason for your answer from question 14? If this game is a train wreck, I need to see it for myself. If it's good, then I've made a good purchase. What is your expectation for the full version of this game? Variety of face customization parts for the avatar. That's weirdly specific. I want a lot of faces on my avatar. I do want a lot of faces on my avatar, but it looks like I can only pick one. Variety of costume customization. Eh. Variety of weapons. Variety of ninja 2. This is probably my answer. Number of characters from Naruto. Game balance as in battle action game. Yeah. Number of missions. Number of battlefields. Number of battle rules. Number of characters from from Boruto. Game balance is the most important, but you need a lot of Ninja 2 variety. I'm gonna say game balance. Are you watching the TV anime Boruto Next Generation? Watch every episode. Have you watched the anime Naruto Shippuden? Oh, watch the lot, but not the fillers. Do you have read the comics for Boruto? No, don't have them. Have not read them before. Do you have uh, the comics for Naruto Shippuden? No, I only have the original Naruto comics, not, uh, or comics. Manga. Come on, but not the Shippuden stuff. I've never never read Shippuden. Oh no, I have read a few before, but I don't own any of them. Have you played the following? I uh, played Storm 4, I played Road to Boruto, I played the trilogy, I played Leg- I guess those are the same thing. I played Legacy. I uh, played- no, I didn't play Ninja Voltage or Blazing. Are you a member of PlayStation Plus? All the way. Have you pr ever purchased DLC for console games before? How do you purchase free additional DLC? Isn't that- okay. Purchasing dictionary to acquire something by paying for it you cannot pay for free additional dlc you know i've tried both before i guess which of the following devices do you own and play video games on playstation 4 pc uh don't own a vita and i have tablets and smartphones but i don't play games there uh i used to play games on 3ds i don't think i do anymore so i'm not gonna say that okay how many games did you purchase within last year a lot. Where do you live? No Europe. Oh, wait, I guess I guess that was the uh, US account that tweeted this. Where do you typically buy your games? PSN, XBLA, digital, all the way. Please rank the following pre-order bonuses in order of preference. This is gross. Ah, I feel gross. I don't want any pre-order bonus. I hate the practice of pre-order bonuses. And I hate the fact that you're asking me which ones I prefer. I'm gonna answer like, okay, I prefer you giving the worst, most meaningless stuff as a pre-order bonus. Like whatever an exclusive enamel pin keychain. I don't even know what this is. Let's put that at number one. Exclusive in-game costume. That's that's just bad. Like don't lock costumes behind pre-orders unless it's a really bad one, like the T-shirt you were offering for the open beta. Exclusive in-game weapon slash skill. This is even worse. Like this is basically pre-order to win. It's not pay to win. It's like pre-order to win because you get an exclusive thing that affects gameplay. Like. No! Unacceptable if that happens. Exclusive in-game character. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Uh, it's not as bad as a weapon or skill, because for the most part you'll be using your own custom character and you won't be using any other in-game characters, but still pretty bad. Especially if you can't use their weapons or their skills, like have them as a VR master. Exclusive poster, yeah, give me that. Exclusive toy figure, yeah, stuff that doesn't affect the game. And then currency, uh, sure. Up to number four. Or I think they can get away with it. If they give you like in-game costume, uh, okay, kinda. These last two are unacceptable. They cannot lock this stuff behind a pre-order. Where do you typically purchase your retail box games? I don't. I don't purchase retail box games. Just set up there. PSN, XBLA, Steam. That's where I've, I don't... Uh, I'm just not gonna answer. What is your gender? Hmm. Done. What did we learn? We learned what they're considering for pre-order bonuses, and it doesn't look good. We learned that they have no idea what the final roster is, and they're looking for advice. And this is, you know, 
even though it's just a survey and you shouldn't read too much into it, they're just looking for feedback. It makes you ask questions and given their track record, this isn't good. I'm very afraid for this game. I'm genuinely scared. Uh, let me know what you think of all this in the comments down below. If you want to see my thoughts on the, the beta and what improvements they've made, check out the video right here. If you're in the mood for something else, check out the video at the bottom. My name is Globku and I'm gonna try to digest all of this. Boy.